You can only make your relationship works out if and only if the two of you will help together to make it a reality. Hello everyone, my name is Ultra. Welcome to my channel. This is Feed the Mind TV. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for any updates coming from this channel. Today, let's talk about how we are going to make our relationship works out and for us to be able to overcome yung mga trials, yung mga challenges that you might be encounter in your relationship. So for the couples or for those people who's planning to have a boyfriend or girlfriend or to enter in a relationship, you have to watch this video. So what are the ways on how we are going to protect our relationship? How we are going to make our relationship last? Number one, do not be authoritative sa isang relasyon. So this one goes not just for the guys but also for the girls. Kasi may mga tao na once they are in a relationship, sila na yung nasusunod. Let's say ang mga lalaki. So kung ano yung gusto nila, wala nang magagawa yung mga babae. Let's say, o oh, bawal ka pumunta dun. Bawal ka lumabas. So once you are in a relationship, you have to avoid being authoritative sa partner mo. Hindi pwedeng lahat ikaw na lang yung susundin. Number two, stop jealousy. Walang mangyari sa inyong relasyon if one of you ay may ganong klaseng attitude, may ganong klaseng pananaw sa isang relasyon na laging selosa, laging seloso. So nothing will happen in your relationship kung isa sa inyo is seloso. Lalo na kung dalawa kayo. So may nakita mo lang na may kateks yung partner mo, yun pala friend naman pala niya, magsaselos ka na, mag-away na kayo. So that will destroy your relationship at hindi kaya magkakasundo sa madaming bagay. So stop being jealous. Okay lang kung yung nasa lugar. But kung wala ka namang proof para magselos, huwag mo nang gawin yun. Next, do not be so strict. Yung tipong hindi na magpapaalam sa yung partner mo kasi alam mong hindi mo siya pagbibigyan. Yung tipong hindi mo na siya papayagang sumama sa mga kaibigan niya. Minsan nakakasakal yung sobrang strict sa partner natin. And that will not help your relationship at all. Italo pa yung tatay tsaka nanay niya sa pagiging strict. Huwag naman ganun, dude. Next, you have to trust your partner. You don't need to ask the password of the Facebook. You have to respect her privacy, his privacy. Kasi kung kukunin mo yung password ng Facebook niya, ng Google account niya, or what not, then andun yung doubt mo kagad sa partner mo. And that will trigger yung away niyo. Because sometimes may mga usapan yung mga lalaki or yung kapwa mo babae, na minsan nami-misinterpret ng partner mo kahit na wala namang meaning but since nagduda ka na prior pa dun sa pagtingin mo pagcheck mo ng account ando na, away na kaagad so all you have to do is trust your partner you're the only person who knows well kung anong klaseng tao yung partner natin so trust is very important to make your relationship last next Never compare your partner with your ex-boyfriend, with your ex-girlfriend. Kung anong klaseng tao yung ex mo, magkaiba sila ng partner mo ngayon. So do not compare that person to your partner today. It's very unfair sa karelasyon mo. Minsan, kung loko-loko yung partner mo dati, andun yung isip natin na, iniisip natin ba ganun din yung partner natin. Huwag naman ganun kasi kawawa naman yung partner mo. Hindi nga niya kakilala yung ex mo eh. Tapos pagdududahan mo siya that he or she might do the same thing. No. That's very wrong. Next thing is, you have to have a quality time together. You have to go out on a date from time to time. And that will help you have a great relationship. Yung personal relationship nyo as a couple. Hindi yung puro text lang kayo. Hindi yung puro video ko lang kayo or text. It's really nice if you are going to go out together and spend time, quality time as a couple. Next, you have to make your boyfriend, your girlfriend special every single day. You know kung ano yung mga bagay na pwedeng maging special sa partner natin. So you can do things like that. Make your partner special. At ma-appreciate yung effort na ginawa mo. Another thing is communication. Dito madami talaga yung nag-struggle in terms of communication. Communication within a relationship. 
Kasi yung iba, ayaw nila pag-usapan yung mga bagay that they should do para makaiwas sa away. But sometimes, hinahayaan nilang lumipas yung gabi, lumipas yung oras or yung araw na, hindi nila napag-uusapan yung problem. And that's when the miscommunication or the struggle in a relationship occurs. So yun yung dapat nating pigilan. Kailangan magkaroon kayo ng open communication. Whatever the problem that you might have in a relationship, talk about it right away. And be open to the explanation of your partner. Hindi lang yung sa sarili mo. Next thing is, you have to reach your goal together. Hindi yung nag-solo flight ka lang, na yung ay wala akong pakialam sa'yo. Once you have the mentality that you and your girlfriend or you and your boyfriend are in together, it's so amazing to see a couple who's working together to reach their dreams, na magkasama sila. And most of the time, that couple will succeed in their dreams, in their life. Kasi they help each other. And last, you have to trust the process. As long as you're doing the right thing, there is a very good possibility that you will succeed in terms of making your relationship works out. And there is a little chance na hindi kayo mag-succeed. Kasi you're doing everything. You're giving your 100% effort sa relasyon nyo. And that what makes the two of you different from the rest. If you learned something from this video and this is the first time that you visit my channel, you need to press the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell to get updates coming from this channel. Again, my name is Altret. This is Fit the Mind TV. Oh,